Hi everyone, so I'm going to have to apologize for this, but I actually made a mistake in the previous video that I want to correct. So with the forward transform, everything I wrote on this slide is correct, except for the forward matrix, and the forward matrix should look like this. So notice how the coefficients from the first equation end up in the first column, and the coefficients from the second equation end up in the second column. In the previous video, I wrote it out like this, and that's actually F transpose, but the correct F matrix should look like this. And the same thing goes for the backward transform. The first equation goes into the first column, and the second equation goes into the second column. In the previous video, I also accidentally wrote out B transpose instead. So looking at these equations for the forward transform, F12 tells us how much of E1 is in E2 tilde. And likewise, FJI tells us how much of EJ ends up in EI tilde. In the previous video, I accidentally wrote this with FIJ instead, but that's wrong. So this should be FJI. And the same goes for the backward transform. BJI tells us how much of EJ tilde ends up in EI. So these are the correct forward and backward transforms here. And I'd just like to clarify that the actual letters I use for the indexes don't really matter. What's important here is that the index that we do the summation over is the first letter of the forward or backward transform, and it corresponds to the index of the basis vector that we're transforming. The second index of the transform corresponds to the output basis vector. Uh, again, I apologize for making a mistake like this right at the beginning of a video series, but hopefully you aren't too confused. For the rest of the video series, I'm going to be using these equations here. 